Man, what a beautiful sight. Seeing these girls fly. Doesn't look like this nuke's doing anything. Oh, man, look at cleansing flights. These boxes are just covered in bee poop. But I'm going to pop this nuke open and just uh, see what's going on. All right, so I popped the nuke open. And you can see it's, it's a dead out. Just looking in there. looks like about all the cells are open and so chances are these guys starve starved over winter all right man it is it is finally warm enough to go out and check all the bee yards and uh man i'm excited i love this love this time of year when time to get back into the hives um, but today I really want to just jump on here and give a shout out shout out to to farmers that are willing to uh, let us beekeepers use their property to put our hives up on um, I currently have three different locations um, of yards that's all owned by by a single one farmer. And when I came out to check them today, um, I expected to do some long walks because it is super muddy. And the last thing I wanted to do is drive my Jeep back tear up any of his lanes or property um, and I think that's something that we need to always keep in mind as beekeepers um, if somebody's gonna let us use their land then we need to do everything we can to respect respect their property um, but anyways I I get there and tell him I'm getting ready to go and check eyes and he goes oh you can't walk back here he says just Jump on the Kubota. He said, you get stuck, call me. So, I'm thankful that uh, I don't have to walk all this this lane. It's uh, the, the two highs I have back here, they are way back here. The farmer, he told me that, uh, he asked me if I wanted to, if I wanted to put more hives up this year and I, I told him, I said, I want to put up more hives and then you can imagine, he says, bring them on. He said, if you find a place that you think will work out good for them, he said, put them up. I'm like, all right. So it's always good to, uh, to be able to find, to find somebody like that, that's willing to, to let you do that. There are bees flying everywhere. So, man, that is awesome. And this is the warmest day we've had in months. Um, as you can see, there's hardly, there's hardly any snow left. Finally. But I do have a problem with this hive, I see, though. That bottom, that bottom hive body has definitely came apart and you can see where they propolized a lot of that I don't know how I ever missed that that's bad so that is gonna have to be be fixed I'm gonna take my my microphone off here and I'm gonna set it down here and see see if this really picks up sound of the hive not. Hopefully it does. Oh man, it feels good to feels good to have them back crawling on me. Feeling the wing the wind coming off their wings when they fly by my face.
get the strap out of their way. Man, what a beautiful sight. So yesterday, yesterday I went and checked another yard um, owned by the same farmer. Um, but it's, it's not very far off the road, so, so I could just walk it. I checked on them yesterday, and uh, I was actually pretty worried about them because they have no wind breaks around them. I didn't wrap, as you can see, I didn't wrap any of the hives this year in tar paper. Um, I just rolled the dice and just, I tried my hardest just to let them be bees. Um, and be honest, I was a nervous wreck all winter long thinking, man, I hope I didn't just cost myself all the work I've put in over the years, um, that I've been doing this so far. And, you know, and then we had such a mild winter. Then I was worried about all of them starving running out of food too early and i mean granted i know it's it's i don't even know what today is march 2nd i think march 2nd 3rd um so I, I know we're not clear out of the woods yet but as of right now this has probably been the best winter that i've ever had with bees um i didn't lose well i still have i still have a few more at um on a different property i haven't checked yet but as of right now as of right now i i've i've only lost the hives that i had in town um none of none of the hives i had i'm gonna call them my ag hives because they're 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 at they're they're out in the country my my ag hives every one of them that i've checked so far has made it through winter um and i'd done nothing i didn't i didn't put on any candy boards i didn't wrap them um these hives are they're they're sitting darn near flat even uh a lot of times i'll i'll tilt them up so that way any moisture will run forward and uh, to be honest, I was gonna do that with these, but my back is not very healthy and I went to do it and I couldn't lift either one of these up. So I just left them flat um, and look at it. They are, they're doing great. And, and you know, I don't get on, I try not to get in the, uh, the discussion or the argument between um, treated and untreated. Um, I believe every beekeeper has the right to to run their yards as they choose. Um, so I don't I don't care if you're a a feeder or a treatment or treatment free, you know. But I'm just going to throw this out there that I didn't treat any of mine this year. Actually, I haven't treated any of my hives in two years, um, and I haven't fed them any. So, and it's not that I have anything against it. Um, for one, I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it'd actually be like if I went treatment free and didn't feed, mostly because of the time and the cost. Um, now, if, if, you're, if you're losing bees and you gotta buy bees every spring because you're losing them, well, then the, the cost of treatment's pretty cheap if you got to buy bees um i have to yet have to had to do that um since i got started um you know my first year um they made it through winter but they died real early in the spring i mean take it as you will do it you know run your run your your bee yards the way you want to run them um but don't knock somebody else if they aren't running their yards um, just the same way you do yours um, because you know I know some people um, 
treating treating is the only way that they've got it to work and hey if that's what it takes you know to have healthy bees in this make it through and have bees in the spring then treat um but man if you can if if you can get through if you can get through winter without having to treat the time the time it takes i mean treating's cheap it's not very that doesn't cost very much but the time that it takes does unless you only have a handful of hives um but man if you can get by being treatment free why why wouldn't you want to is that's just that's just my thing um but i'm gonna hop off here go back and let the farmer know that so far all the hives um on his properties are are every one of them made it through the winter um well take it back i have one little nuke up there um i knew that was that was a real gamble anyways it was very very small um but it looks to me like they just they just ran out of ran out of funny so but other than that nuke every hive on his property has has pulled through so far so i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna check the other ones at uh on the other properties um but this was a good day um i hope you guys can get out and check your bees and uh good luck this season i hope everybody has uh an abundance of honey this year and uh just get out there and work your bees um pay attention to them you can learn a lot from bee books but there's nothing like spending time in the hives um that's at least for me um videos books i i you know i pay attention to all of it especially the videos um and they're good but i have learned so much more just diving in to the hives um and making mistakes don't be afraid to make mistakes because that's how you learn um don't be afraid of it if you're new to beekeeping don't be afraid don't be worried that you're gonna do this or do that um you're gonna you're gonna squash some you're gonna you're gonna accidentally step on them um just pay attention to when you're where the queen's at if you see her just be cautious that you don't roll her other than that just enjoy it have a good day guys